In this video, you're going to learn 10 everyday words that are used by English speakers that you never learnt in the classroom, but they'll really spice up your language skills and they'll stop you sounding like a boring robot. Hello. So sit back, relax, and get ready to take your English to the next level. Hi, I'm Steve. Let's do this. Our first word is dead. Of course, you probably know the usual meaning for this, but it's also commonly used to take the place of the word very in English. So you could say, this car is very good. But if you want to sound like a native English speaker, you would say, this car is dead good. Steve, how was the movie? It was dead good. Using dead to take the place of very will really spice up your English language. And so will the next word, tight. If someone is too careful with their money, you know, the sort of person who doesn't like to pay for anything, you could say that they're mean. But a better, more natural way of saying this is to say they're tight. He is so tight, when he opens his wallet, moths fly out. Now we have the word do. And do takes the place of the word party. So instead of asking, are you going to his retirement party? You would say, are you going to his retirement do? Now talking about do's, we could probably use our next word, which is sloshed. To say this correctly, the ed at the end is pronounced with a t sound, sloshed. To find out more about ed endings on the end of words, check out this video on the site. So one more time, this word is pronounced sloshed, and it means to be drunk. You've drank too much alcohol, you're drunk, or better, you're sloshed. Let's use the last two words together. I went to a birthday do last night and I got sloshed. You try. It won't take long to learn our next word. It's jiffy, which means a short period of time. Try using this if you were going to say a moment or a few seconds, like this. I'll get my coat and I'll be back in a jiffy. Remember, it only takes a jiffy to click the like button. Next, we have a really fun word, porkies. And porkies are things that aren't true. They're lies. Try this sentence. Politicians are always telling porkies. Now, I'm sure you've been taught that this is a cup of tea. But to a native British speaker, it will always simply be a cuppa. To say this naturally, change the last A for the schwa sound, which is the little a uh sound that's so common in English. So it's not cup a, it's cup a. Uh. Cuppa. You try. Cuppa. It's important that you know a cuppa is always tea. It's never any other hot drink. It's just tea. So you could say to your guests, can I make you a cuppa? You try. Can I make you a cuppa? The word brilliant means to shine, like a diamond is brilliant. But it's more often used to describe something that's good or excellent. What was your meal? It was brilliant. Try it in this sentence. I have a brilliant job. Our next word, 
gobsmacked is a great or brilliant English word and it means to be surprised or shocked. It comes about because mouth is often referred to as gob in slang English. And when you're surprised, you smack it like this. <gasps> so gob, smacked, gobsmacked. You try, gobsmacked. Repeat this sentence. I was gobsmacked when I got promoted. You'll be gobsmacked when you realise how much your English improves when you subscribe to this channel. And if you've already subscribed, I love you. You're brilliant. Our next word is fortnight. And as well as being a computer game, it means a period of two weeks. To say this properly, don't pronounce the T in the middle. It's not fortnight, it's fortnight. Fortnight, you try. It's used like this. The office is closed for a fortnight. You try. Now, if you or someone you know is very fortunate or lucky, then you can use our next word, and it's jammy. Repeat this sentence. The team were jammy and scored in the last minute of the game. And for another dead brilliant English lesson, click this link. I'll see you next time.